Hey everybody, welcome to Dan Bowen Photography. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about Canon FD lenses. Now if you're interested in 35mm photography, uh, Canon is an option worth considering. And there are a lot of great lenses in the FD lens mount system that are available for pretty good bargains. Now, I know some people are going to comment like, yes, but what about Minolta and Pentax? Those lenses are much cheaper. And yes, there are definitely um, more budget-friendly options, but the options I'm going to share with you today from the Canon FD system are really inexpensive compared to what they used to cost and compared to what uh, Canon EF lenses cost today. So if you're looking into 35mm photography or you already have a Canon uh, camera that has an FD lens mount, then there are tons of lenses out there that are available for fairly good prices. So just a little background, the FD lens mount was Canon's proprietary lens mount that they used on their camera systems from that made between about 1970 and 1990. Now, Canon takes a lot of flack for changing their lens mount system fairly often. They've changed it several times throughout the history. Um, I think there's been at least three different lens mounts um, on the cameras of the company. And it is kind of a pain that they've changed their lens mounts. But uh, for people looking to get into film photography, uh, there's a little bit of an advantage to this. And since this lens mount has been discontinued, a lot of the lenses are available fairly cheap. I think it's also worth pointing out that you can actually mount these on mirrorless digital cameras today if you buy an adapter. Now all of the FD lenses, at least as far as I know, they're manual focus, uh, so you won't have autofocus when you uh, mount them with an adapter, but you know, if you're shooting film you're probably used to manual focus anyway, or you, know, you might want to try it out. Um, so I think that you can get some really, really great uh, lenses for excellent prices. So I'm just going to walk through some of the prices that I found on KEH.com just as a check before I ran this video. Um, so a 24mm f2.8 lens is selling between $100 and $180. Uh, the 28 f2.8 is $62 in excellent condition. The 35 f2 is $175. The 51.4 is between $70 and $125. The 51.8 is between $15 and $50. Um, which if you think about the nifty 50 lenses today, they're pretty cheap, but they're still like $150. Uh, the 85 f1.8, which is one of my favorite lenses, is between $200 and $250. Uh, a 100mm f4 macro is $80, and a 200mm f4 lens is $37. Uh, so as you can see, there, there are good lenses out there for fairly cheap. Um, some of them are not the greatest in terms of sharpness or build quality, but others are very good and they hold up very well over time. So the first lens I'm going to talk about is the 28mm f2.8. Now I scored this lens for under $100 and I really enjoyed it. I think it's um, pretty sharp and I've been able to get some pretty good wide angle lenses. It's a little bit cheaper than the 35 and 24 f2 lenses, so um, that's why I went for it. I'm not crazy about the 28mm focal length. I would probably prefer something either a little wider or a little less wide, like a 35. Um, but it's been really good for like long exposure photography or doing cityscape type stuff uh, where I want a little bit of a wider scene. So this is a great lens to pick up if you're looking to do something along those lines. Now, the lens that came with the camera that I have uh, the Canon FTB. This is the 50 f1.8, and this was basically the standard lens that came with this camera when you bought it as a kit. Um, you could also have bought that um, the 51.4 or 51.2 if you paid a little bit more money. Um, if you don't already have a 51.8, I don't necessarily recommend picking this up. I would just because the 51.4. Uh, is only a little bit more expensive, but you can find these in like bargain condition for around $15 and often if you're buying um, a Canon camera that has an FD lens mount, it might come with this lens, so if you've already got it, I would say go for it. Um, this is, I haven't been impressed with this 50mm lens. I mean, it's, it's good, but it's not um, the sharpest or most amazing 50mm lens I've ever 
used, and I think that you know there are other options if you're actually shopping for a lens. But if you have one already, I think it's it's a great lens. It's a great focal length. Now the next lens I'm going to talk about is actually my uh, favorite lens that I've used so far, film or digital, and this is the 85 millimeter f 1.8. Now this lens is incredibly sharp. Um, I've been super impressed with the lens and the images I've been able to get with um, with this lens are really great. It's a fantastic lens for portraits. It has really great bokeh, uh, really great depth of field. Um, just you can tell it's really well built. The focusing skate ring is really smooth and I just I really think this is a fantastic lens. I'm going to be doing a full review on this so uh, stay tuned for that. And the last uh, lens in my kit uh, is the 135mm f2.8. Now this is a good lens, it's, it's pretty sharp, um, also really well built, um, but through getting this lens I kind of realized something about myself in that I don't really like telephoto lenses. Uh, this is a, considered like a short telephoto lens, um, it's certainly not, doesn't have a reach of like a 200 or 300 millimeter. But I just, I don't shoot with this very much. I think I've maybe shot one or two rolls of film with it. Um, so I'm actually considering selling it. But it is a good lens, and if you are looking for telephoto options, there are a lot of lenses in the FD mount uh, that are really good to use. Um, so I'm going to share a few sample images that I've taken with each one of these lenses to give you a sense of uh, what they look like. there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you're looking to get into film photography or you have a Canon uh, system that uses the FD mount, uh, just know that there are a lot of great lens options out there that you can get for bargain prices. So as always, if you like these videos, please subscribe by clicking on the red box next to my head or by clicking the subscribe link down next to my channel name. Also, please follow me on Instagram. My handle is at Dan Bowman. And that's all I have for this week. I'm going to be doing a review on the uh, Canon FD 85mm f1.8 lens. Uh, so look out for that. And we'll see you soon, guys. Peace.